in his AP interview yesterday, the Russia investigation and his son Don Jr. and that Trump Tower meeting where he said, my son is a good young guy. It's turning 41, just so you know. Uh, he did what every other person in Congress would do if someone came up to them, said, hey, I have information on your opponent, then heard it was about Hillary Clinton. They had a meeting, or he had a meeting with some people. The meeting became about a different subject, and they couldn't get out of the meeting fast enough. Is that explanation enough, or is it enough for the American people? I, I think having been through a few of these campaigns, someone comes up to you and says, I have information on your opponent, you're taking the meeting. Irrelevant of who it is? If it's a foreign government, you probably don't. If the foreign government is telling you something that they're going to do, like tap into emails that is illegal, not only do not take the meeting, if you're in the meeting, you get out as fast as you can and you call law enforcement. So yes, of course you take information on an opponent. But under these facts, if a, if a member of my staff had come to me and said, I got a good idea. A foreign government's got information on an opponent, and by the way, they think they can they go tap into their emails, you wouldn't take that meeting in a million years, and I don't know anyone who would. Okay, so, so let's take ourselves out of the, this isn't the right thing to do, no one would do it. Will there be any impact for Team Trump? Because if you ask people across America, they may, they may agree with his nonsense lie. Well, no, I mean, that's because we've, we've, sort of, we've defined deviancy down with the Trump administration that we're used to sort of the court of, 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 King, of King Donald, his sons and courtiers, and, and, uh, and so on. By the way, this is the same story with Saudi Arabia. When you put your son-in-law in charge of foreign policy with Saudi Arabia, and then you catch moral laryngitis, as my, as my colleague Frank Bruni put it, uh, it you, 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 shouldn't, you shouldn't be surprised. You know something? Ann Coulter did give the president one terrific piece of advice back in 2016. You cannot Don't put your, hire your family. You can't hire your family for important, uh, for important jobs like these because your son happens to be not a young guy. He happens to be an idiot who wanted to collude with a foreign government to, to, to subvert an American.